it's been a hard road, right? Yeah. Royalty free music, not so good. You know, copyright claims is a problem and a challenge. But now there's a resource here yeah. that's working on getting mainstream music. What are some like artists off the top of your head? What's up, influencers? Welcome to another interview here on Video Influencers, where we're helping build your influence income impact with online videos. Copyright music is something that people are having problems with. And we have Paul, the founder of Licked, a platform helping creators use mainstream music without getting those copyright claims. Thank you so much, Paul, you're for welcome. your time. You're very welcome, Benji. Yeah, Hello, yeah. everyone. And you know, when you're creating videos, music is such an important piece of it. Absolutely. Can you yeah. explain to us some of the things that people need to consider when uh, considering royalty free music yeah. before we get into mainstream sure. music. Sure, okay. Production music, that whole sector, if you think about production music, it was built, it's music that's been commissioned specifically for use in a production. Yeah. Commercial music, major music hasn't been, mm -hmm. right? So that's what the production music sector is. Actually, the term royalty free is only relevant to television. It just mm. means that a TV company doesn't have to pay a royalty if they yeah. use the music. It's been adopted by YouTubers as meaning claims free mm. because a certain royalty free company has been adopted by YouTubers. Yeah. So actually that term means nothing to a YouTuber. What you're looking for is uh, you just don't want to get a copyright claim yeah. and that information should be on every music company's website. I started out in production music. Yeah. There's a lot of value in production music, right? Yes. What production music does really well that commercial music doesn't is things like fantasy, adventure, drama, comedy, um, action, uh, and drones yeah. and yeah. sound effects, yes. right? You don't get that from an Adele song yeah. necessarily, <laughs> right? But I, I, in 2009, I did a, a blanket deal for use of production music that I represented in Breaking yeah. Bad. Yeah. And people were amazed by that. But they wanted to underscore their show with production music yeah. and then leave themselves budget to use the, yeah. the hits. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the best productions in the world use both. Problem on YouTube has been that copyright claims mean that YouTubers have been limited mm -hmm. to production music. Yes. And that's what Licked is trying to solve for, for sure. creators. What are some things that people need to know when it comes to copywritten music yeah. and using it on YouTube yeah. and the challenges that they're having on the platform? Okay. Essentially, if you use a famous song on YouTube, you're going to get a copyright claim, mm -hmm. right? And that means that you'll lose your revenue. Licked has built software that overrides that. If you've licensed mm -hmm. the song from us, yeah. our labels take our software and put it in their YouTube CMS. So if you've legally licensed the song, you won't get a copyright claim through yeah. Licked. Yeah. We don't have all the music in the world, but we're signing labels after label after label. 1,600 labels and publishers signed yeah. right now. Yeah. We just signed Universal, the biggest wow. label in the world. Wow. Um, but it, other without Licked, if you want to use a famous song, you yeah. can go to the label directly. Yeah. You also have to clear the publishing. And that's when it gets tricky, right? It's like six contracts yeah. and they're yeah. not going to return your calls because it's not worth their time. And one of the things that um, people have done in the past, right, is they'll use something because there was this platform that let them use it and then the label gets uh, sold or the label sells the rights or whatever. Yeah. And then it gets claimed, yes. right, on YouTube and yeah. it's been a big problem. When you get when you license a song with us, you, yeah. get, you get a contract in your wallet, right? Yeah. So even if the rights to the music do change and someone retrospectively comes and claims your video, yeah. you can just send them your license ID and you go, look, yeah. I, I licensed this. Yeah. It's always valid. They have to release the claim, yeah. right? Otherwise, when you dispute a claim, the, the rules on YouTube changed about two years ago. Yeah. If you've got a claim and you dispute it, you don't lose your revenue during yeah. the time the dispute is being resolved, mm, right? Wow. So if you dispute it immediately, yeah. the label isn't taking your money. The money's oh. going into the money's going into escrow. Okay, got it. Right. So it's you going can, into a neutral account. Exactly yeah. right. Exactly right. And when when you come out as the winner of that dispute, yeah. you'll be paid all the money retrospectively. Mm, nice. However, with our service and our platform, as long as the, the song's been licensed, you shouldn't get a copyright claim at all. Copyright claims is a thing, and yeah. it's a challenge. How do you uh, deal with it and how do you avoid it? You can avoid it by using one of the many music services that are out there that, yeah. that, will, that will not give you a copyright claim. Yeah. Typically that means production music. Yes. We are the first people offering mainstream commercial yeah. music without a license. Yeah. There are other services out there doing commercial music yeah. without claims, yeah. but they're, they're, it's unknown independent artists. And what, yes. the reason that doesn't give you a claim is because the artist isn't big enough to have a YouTube account mm. to be able to claim the yeah. music. Yeah. So, Everything that exists in that landscape exists because this solution didn't. Yes. They're all workarounds. Yep. You want to avoid getting a copyright claim? Yeah. Use this unknown music. Yeah. Right? We were the first ones that went out and said, actually, there must be a way around this technically. Holy. And we built software called Vouch. If you, think a second about what a copyright claim is. Yes. It is the presumption by Content ID yes. that you haven't licensed the song. Mm -hmm. And the reason Content ID can presume that 
is because there's nowhere to license the song. Yeah, right? yeah. Exactly. I know you didn't license <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, because yeah. I haven't made it available to yeah. you, right? So what our software does is it tells Content ID, hang on, this song is now legally available. Yeah. So Content ID has to check in with us first. Yeah. And it says, I'm about to claim this video on channel X yes. for song Y. Yeah. Unless licked, you tell me that's one of your users and they licensed it legally. Yeah. And if the answer is yes to both of those, it clears yeah. the claim. So that's the, that's the way to do it. I think it's a nonsense that copyright claims exist, yes. or, or, or at least that there isn't a way to avoid them, right? Yeah. That's what we're trying to solve. Yeah. We want to build Spotify for creators. I don't yes. understand why you can't use whatever's on your phone and your favorite artists yeah. and get penalized, yeah. right? We're trying to convince the music industry of this. Yeah. We can't do it alone, yeah. right? I've told them if I build it, they will come. Yes. But if they don't come, it will end, yes. right? So I've had creators say to me, I love what you're doing. Have you got Drake? And I yeah. said, I don't have Drake. And they yeah. turned away. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the only way to get Drake available without a copyright claim is to, is to work with us. Yes. Because when they see a community building, they'll suddenly yeah. start pushing us all the best music the yeah. day it's released. Yeah. And that's what we want to be able to awesome. provide. No, and so why this is so important, why I want to get Paul on video influencers in this interview is because music is really going to put so much feeling, so much drama, and it's going to kind of like lead the direction of your video. But it's been such a challenge, right? Uh, number one, copyright music. Yeah. You just can't use it. Uh, it's been such a challenge. Royalty-free music. It just doesn't have the same kind yeah. of feel. And Honestly, mainstream music is what people uh, uh, relate to. That's what they're connecting with. That's what they're listening. So it's really the best music to yeah. be used in a lot of cases. And what I like about this is in the past, you could get a copywritten song, get the license for it, and be able to use it on a platform or website. The problem was later on, it could get claimed because maybe the ownership change or the platform yeah. uh, shut down and it would screw your video, right? Like you would lose that revenue. But in the case of Licked, what they're saying is that it's license is... Perpetuity. Can you explain that yeah. real, uh, more clearly? Because that is the game changer when it sure. comes to what you guys are doing for creators. Sure. So typically when you're licensing music into content in, yeah. in, in the professional world, in, yeah. in, in B2B, like product, TV shows yeah. and films and trailers, they will attach a term to a license, yeah. right? Whether that's for one year or five years or whatever it might be. We have argued successfully to the music industry that these licenses must be in perpetuity. Mm. Not least because none of us want to be in the whack-a-mole world yeah. of yeah. trying to find a YouTube video five years from now yeah, yeah. and pulling it down. So the other thing is there's something called ephemeral use okay. in TV. Ephemeral use is, is the use of music in a video that wasn't intended. So if you think about if you were filming reporting on a news story like that woman yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> at a fairground yeah. and a song was playing in the background yeah, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't have to license that song yeah, yeah. because it's incidental mm. now most YouTube video views happen in the first 72 hours yes. in, in traditional media world that would be considered an ephemeral use yeah. and I've had to learn all that and make that case to the music industry so that they understand why we can dish out an yeah. in perpetuity license yeah. so even if the ownership changes you've got your, your contract with us yeah in your wallet for yeah. that license. Yeah. Proof of purchase, date of purchase, and you can send that to anyone and it's like, look sucker, I licensed it. Yeah. It says in perpetuity, yes. that means forever. Yeah. Get the hell away from my video. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Now there's one more thing. Yeah. It might get a little geeky, a little technical, sure. but I think it's really important. So we just talked about like uh, pursuing your rightful use of the song with what you just said. One of the things that intrigues me about Licked is you're building systems into the machine of YouTube. Yeah. Can you specifically talk about that? Because it's a headache. You know, I literally have thousands of videos and I don't really have the time or even my team because we're already like dealing with the next video or producing content. What are you doing uh, to integrate okay. your system yeah. so you're protecting people's time so they don't have to deal with it? Which okay. I know is not 100%, yeah. but it, you're trying to make it as easy for people to use this music yes. without having to work to claim it. Okay, so there's two, there's two answers yes. to that question. One is, when you create an account with us, you log in through your YouTube channel, Yeah. right? That, that means that we grab your, your YouTube specific channel ID. Second is that the software we've built that clears the claim, we have provided the solution to the music industry that facilitates yeah. licensing. Yeah. So when they, we give them out, we sign a label, we say, who does your content ID? Yeah. And if it's them, we give them the software and we instruct them on what to do. Yeah. So if they don't give us every song, yeah. they integrate the software and they just mark which songs they have sent to mm, Licked. Yeah. And they put a Licked policy 
on the song. But the lick policy just says, don't monetize the video until you've checked with us. Yes. It's, it's not easy to build that. It's taken us the best part of the three years. Yeah. But YouTube are now working with us more and more to facilitate the, um, the scale yes. of that software. Look, I can tell you that there were huge artists and huge labels coming yeah. to Licked. Yes. Um, I've been fighting this fight for creators. Yeah, you know, going. for me, it just makes sense that all this music is being used by these creators who get tons of views, which is tons of attention, yeah. which indirectly only supports the artist's Agreed. music that we're using. I've, I've known that Lily for a decade. And so the last points I want to make is this. It's been a hard road, right? Yeah. Royalty free music, not so good. You know, um, um, copyright claims is a problem and a challenge. But now there's a resource here yeah. that's working on getting mainstream music. What are some like artists off the top of your head that you guys have available? Just like a few. Uh, Fatboy Slim, Rick Astley, uh, Lenny Kravitz was on there, and we've got um, Snow Patrols on there, uh, Beck's on there, Ziggy Marley's on there. And yeah. so, I mean, those are just a few of the artists that they've got, and the more people are using this platform the more I guess uh, muscle power they've got yeah. to kind of not strong arm the music industry but to convince them this is in their best interest so yeah. definitely check out Licked we'll put a link down in, in the description anything you want to leave our creators with in terms of um, this topic get on board and let's change the music industry and music rights for you creators on YouTube forever awesome get licked Awesome. Hey, you guys, if you want to see more videos about this topic, click or tap the screen right here. If you guys want to see our full playlist of videos on Video Influencer, click or tap the screen right here. As always, we're helping build an influence income impact with online videos. Follow us on socials. I'll talk to you later.